to be able to gather together and to sing and to worship our risen King, our, our born in the flesh King. And I am Mark Tucker uh, on pastoral staff with my brother Aaron, and we're glad you're here. Um, as usual, I think uh, most people will know by now, books there, coffee there, tea there, um, and, and help yourself to all of it and any of it uh, that seems good to you. Um, I want to, what I want to do now is take a moment uh, and have everybody just kind of greet one another uh, and say, you know, Merry Christmas and all that good stuff, just to take a moment to, to, to be thankful to be together and acknowledge that uh, we can be together in the flesh. And also, uh, while that's going on, I'm going to invite the kids with some parents' help to come and, and have chairs kind of spread out in the front. Today's sermon is going to be focused on young people, but hopefully we'll all have something, receive something from it. So um, everybody stand up and take a, a minute or two to greet one another um, and also bring some chairs up. It'd be great to have some adults sprinkled in with the kids for management. Let's, uh, let's gather back together. All right, so um, we, I know some of you all have received uh, pretty cool gifts. Um, I meant to bring one of my gifts and I, I just forgot, but I'll just tell you what it is. Um, it was given to me by my son Isaiah, and it, uh, it's, a, it's a light, it's like a band that goes around your head, and it's got a light attached to it, and you can bend it up and down, um, and of course turn it off and on, and, and at first I was like, what a strange gift, like why would I get that gift? Um, but then I, Alice reminded me, she actually showed a picture uh, of me that I didn't realize she had taken, and it's a picture of me um, with a flashlight in my mouth, and I'm working on something. I'm, I'm, fix, I'm always fixing little things. I enjoy like tinkering with stuff. And I was doing that and had a flashlight in my mouth. And you know, she, she you know, it's just gross. I'll just put it that way. So it was a great gift. She gave the idea to Isaiah and it was awesome. Um, but it's a reminder to, to us not, you know, why we have light during this time. It's a reminder that uh, light is a reminder that God gives us good gifts, that he's present here among us. Um, and one of the ways that he's present in the Old Testament is through fire and through light. And Jesus came into the world and he said he is the what? Light of the world. That's right. He is the light of the world. And I'm going to talk about Jesus being with us in a way that's different than light. And the word, is, it's in a big word, it's an important word, and the word is incarnation. Everybody say incarnation. Yeah. Now, can anybody tell me what incarnation means? Raising your hand. What does incarnation mean? Yeah, what do you think, uh, James?
The incarnation of God is Jesus. That's true. That's true. So let, let me see if, if we can get somebody. Uh, uh, Eleanor, do you have an idea what car, in, incarnation is? The word carne comes from the word for flesh or meat, right? Like, you ever heard of a carnivore? Right? What is a carnivore? Meat, right? And it means meat or flesh. And so the incarnation is about God coming in the what? Flesh. Meat, you say meat, meat, but Jesus came in flesh. Our, Our God, God came in the legend in the form of Jesus. Jesus. And, that's and that's what I want to talk about today. Like, like, why is it important that God came in flesh, in human flesh? Why, why, why is, is that important at all? God, God could have saved, saved us any number, number of ways, ways right? But, but he, he decided, decided to come, come into the world in flesh like, like we have on our bones. So we're going to talk about that. that. But, but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pray. Chad and Reverend Alders. Uh, he's he's going to pray, pray for us. And, and what, what I want you to know is that Jesus, in the flesh, flesh while we pray, pray, he is talking to the Father on our behalf. He, he is intervening. He is mediating to God. God. He, he listens, listens to our prayers. prayers. He responds to our prayers. Whether you're eight or eight, or eight months or eight, eight whatever, whatever age you are, you're important to God. God. He hears your prayers and he responds. So, so I want you to, you to exercise patience and listen, listen while, while Chad prays, prays for some of the things, things in our church and in our world. Let's pray right right again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your name. Our wonderful counselor, mighty God, God the everlasting Father, and the We thank you for your steadfast love that is present right now with us and present for the creation of the world. And we thank you for your sacrificial love. We love what you did for her. We thank you for your sacrificial love. We thank you for your sacrificial love. And may we model this as a sacrificial love, serving love to one another and the body of Christ for your intent. And may the world know that we will love you by how we love and serve one another. Pray for these kids before us. I pray that they will know experience this love and that you would love to even that as we open the door shortly. Lord, I pray for our community groups and the town together. Lord, I pray for the Lord to give us the place of discipleship and fellowship. Open your word and we're going to join one another in our sanctification of the new Lord of our God. Lord, I pray for our and as we talk more about the intervention of what we need to see and how God will us into the human form of our hearts. And may his words be the Lord and his word 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 and his word. And she, she gave, gave birth, birth to her, her first son. son. 
and wrapped him in his swaddling cloths and laid him in a because there was no place for them in the that's, That's the story of Jesus becoming, becoming flesh. flesh. Now, now, here's, here's what's interesting, and I didn't even really think about, about this until I was older than you guys. guys. But, but the Jesus existed even before he was, he was born. born. He existed. He was, he was around. around. He, was he was in his creation, creation before he took, took on, on flesh, flesh, before, before he, he became, became a baby. baby. And we'll, and we'll talk, talk about that in a minute, minute. but that's, that's, that's pretty amazing. amazing. But, but why, why is it important, important that, that Jesus became a baby? Why, why is it important that he, that he took flesh, that he had fingers and toes and a nose and, toes and uh, large, large intestines and small intestines and, intestines and a brain and a heart? heart. Why, why is it important? And that's what I want to talk about. about. But first, first I want to ask you guys this question. question. What, what did you, you have for lunch yesterday? We had a special meal yesterday, lunch or dinner. What? Did you, did you have, have? What, what was part, part of your, your meal yesterday, yesterday after Christmas, Christmas present? Yeah, yeah, manual. Manual. Say that. Wow. Duck. Duck. Interesting. Wow. Duck. Duck. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got you what? Ramen. ramen. That's, That's interesting, interesting because, because salt, salt had ramen, ramen too. too. <laughs> All right. Maybe there's, there's a tradition there. there. What, what else? else? Anybody, Anybody else, else have anything interesting? interesting? Or, or yummy? yummy? For, for lunch, lunch or dinner? Okay, I'm going to show you a picture. I'll ask if anybody had this. Put the picture, picture up there. there. Able. Yeah, picture, picture up there. there. All right. All right. You know you what know that is? is? I know, I know it looks more purple, purple than usual, usual but, but that's, that's, the, that's the projector. Uh, that is a We had a and in, in some, some families, families he kind of, of a, of a, of a, a Christmas, Christmas tradition. tradition. Um, but, but let's say, for example, uh, you, you, you were, were, were hungry, you know, put all your presents, you played with them a little bit, and it was, it was time, time to have, have a big, big meal together, together maybe, maybe with your cousins, cousins and friends, friends and grandparents. And, uh, and, and your mom, mom or dad, dad brought out um, carrot raisin casserole. No hints. People like that. It's not, not on my top, top of the favorite, favorite list. And, 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 and then, then brought out a picture of him. They said, you know what? We decided this year that instead, instead of um, having him to be healthy, but, but I know him is important, important, so I'm going to put, put a picture of him on our table. table right? Right? And, and, and also, um, because, you know, you know pictures are always great. This is it enough? Sometimes. sometimes. I also bought some ham smelling. Uh, perfume, and I'm and just, just going to swirl it around, around. So, so we can, can see him, and we can, can smell him, but we're not going to be able to carry his castle. castle. How, how, how much do you guys, guys feel about, about that? that? Not uh, how many great days do you feel a little disappointed about that? Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? Now, why? Now, why? Why would you, why why would you be disappointed in Because you like red meat. You want the ham. Right. Why would you feel disappointed? Emmanuel? What's, What's that? that? You, can you can smell, smell it, it, you can see it, but you just can't have it, right? right? You, can't you can't have the meat. meat. And, and, and we, we need food, food. We need food. And, and we, we want, want good food. And, and you can, can see it and smell it, but that's just not, not enough. enough. Our bodies need, need it, and we're, we're satisfied with the value of him. him. The word, the, the significance of him, him is in the, the taste, taste of it. it. And, and then it sustains, sustains us. us. It gives, gives us something that's important. Carrot raised casserole does too. too. But, but to, to look, look at him and to smell him isn't, isn't what satisfies, satisfies our, our hearts, hearts desire. desire. And that's to, to eat it. it. Okay? And you and can, you can apply, apply that to other foods, foods as well. well. Now, now, let me give you another example. example. What, what if your parents said, hey, tomorrow morning, Grandma and Grandpa are going to come join us. For, for, thing, for, for Christmas. Christmas. They're, They're going to be here for Christmas. Christmas. They're going to be able to enjoy Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma and Grandpa. Raise, Raise your hand if you're, you're able to hang out and be, be with your grandparents, grandparents on Christmas. Christmas. Raise, Raise your hand. Okay, okay some of you, yeah, that's good. good. And, and let's, let's say you woke, woke up in the morning, um, and you woke up in your presence, and then you were like, oh, Mom, where's Grandma and Grandpa? And they were like, 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, okay, they log on and she pulled out a laptop and, and put them in the next picture. picture. And it, it was, was grandma, grandma, grandpa, and all, and all your cousins, cousins your aunts on, on the Zoom meeting. I'm a Zoom, Zoom meeting together. Zoom, Zoom celebration. Well, that, well, that, that would, would be nice. nice. But would but you feel a little crazy if you were a little disappointed? You should be. be. Now, now Sometimes, sometimes that's, 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 that's what you get, get. That's, that's okay. okay. Praise, Praise God. God. Opportunity to be, to be with one, one another sometimes in Zoom. Zoom. But, but our, our hearts are longing is to be able to, to, to be with them, them, to get, get a hug from grandma, grandma, grandma. and grandpa. And to go on a walk and to walk, hold, and hold their hands, hands or sit in their lap. Or, or to have a conversation face to face. Just to do what you have. Have a read a book to you at night before you go to bed. That's the value of grandma and grandpa to be there in flesh and blood. It's okay, but it's, it's, it's not, not quite satisfying. Well, well, in a similar, similar way, God is with us, and it's, and it's not, not just a God, God you can smell or see a picture, picture of, right? right? And, it's and it's not, not just, just God, God who is on a Zoom conversation, conversation or in, in prayer, prayer, although that's, that's good. good. We can be with God and He's with us. But, but God, God actually came down, down in flesh. God, God entered into, into his, his world, our presence, presence in, in flesh, as, as a baby. baby. And, and two, two reasons, reasons that's, that's important. important. One, we're talking about, it is that God, God came to be, be with, with us. us. The if this is a little word, word with, with, everybody, everybody say with. with. When, when we, we use the word with, with here, here, it means that he's, he's with, with us, not, not in a Zoom, Zoom conversation, but he's, he's with, with us physically. Jesus is God, God with his people physically. physically. But not only that, that, that's the second thing I'm going to talk about. And that's, and that's that God, God came, came to be like us. us. Everybody, Everybody say like. like. He's, he's like, like us. us. He's not, not only with us, but he's like us. Right. So, so first, God, God came, came to be with, with us. us. This is the, the value of the incarnation. God came to be with his people. And that's, and that's a big, big deal. deal. Just like, like your grandparents, grandparents who made for some, some of you, it's, it's just, just like, like right, right around the corner, corner like, like the Eisenhower or, Browns, or, or down, down the store, or, or across, across town, town, like the, the, uh, the, the Havens. But for some of his grandparents, are always like the Tuckers and the Malkuses. And sometimes, sometimes they, they travel, travel all the way to be with, with us. Why? Because they love us. And they, and they want, want to be with us physically. Well, well the same with God. God, God wants, wants to be with his people. Um, in, the in the book, book of uh, Zephaniah, which is, which is an Old Testament, Old Testament prophet, prophet, he wrote, he wrote these, these words. And this and gives us a little clue as to why God wants to be with, with us. us. Listen, Listen to this. This is one of my one favorite, favorite passages of Scripture. It says, it says this, this to, God, God says, says this to his people. The prophet, the prophet says this. The Lord your God, God is, is in your midst. A mighty, a mighty one who will save. save. He, he will rejoice over you, you with gladness. He will, will quiet you with his, his love. He will, he will exult, exult over you, you with loud singing. singing. I remember, I remember uh, when... when I, our kids, our kids were little. little. See, Levi's Levi really kind of big, big now. But one, one day, day long, long time, time ago, he was, he was little. little. And he would, he would sit, sit in Alice's hands and hold him. She would sing to him. Did you guys, you guys ever know, 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 maybe, maybe your parents, 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 parents ever saying to you? Did you know that God sings over his people? Why? Because he loves us. He wants to be close to us. God cherishes his people. He cherishes his creation. He made, he made us, us. He, he longs to be with us, he quiets us with his love, he is, he is in, in our midst. Why? Why? Because, because we, we are his and we are valuable, are valuable to him. Uh, well, well, that, that includes Jesus. Jesus. So, so in the, the book of Colossians, when it, when it talks, talks about creating the heavens, the heavens and the earth, it talks, it talks about God, God as, as Jesus. Jesus. So this, so this is where, is where you get God. God as Jesus, Jesus existing before he was, he was born, born to Mary. Mary. Okay, before, before he became, became flesh, flesh, this, this is, what is what it says about Jesus. Jesus. He, Jesus, is the, is the image, image of the, of the invisible, invisible God. God. So he, he is like God. God. He is part, part of God. God. The, the firstborn of all creation. creation. 
For by, by him, him, by Jesus, Jesus all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether the thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him, through Jesus, and for him. So all things were created through Jesus and for Jesus. Okay? So Jesus existed way at the beginning of creation, and he loves his creation. We are his creation, and we are important to him. So God created us. Jesus is part of God created us. And, and he, he also, also loves us. How many of you ever make, make, a, make something, something like a piece of art um, or a paper mache or you make something that's cool and you, you, you love it and you just are like, this is so cool and I love, love it. it. How many of you? Yeah. yeah. I know, I know Felicity, Felicity got, got for Christmas. Christmas. You don't mind if I say Felicity is okay? okay. She, she got, got a sewing machine. machine. And uh, uh, yesterday, yesterday we ran by the home. And she showed me these pillows that she made. These pillows that she made from her sewing machine. How cool is that? And I'm sure those pillows are important. Not only people are well, how much more so are we important to God? And because we're important to God, He loves us, He wants to come be with us. Just like your grandparents want to be with you and you want to be with them. He is God with us. Which means, which, which word that anybody, anybody know? What is it? God does that. Emmanuel? Emmanuel. That's right. Well, it's important for us to believe that. that. Now, why is it important? Because, because I, want I want to tell you something some of you may already know. know. You, you live, live in a world where you, you have friends, friends everybody look around, around. around. Okay, okay going, going back, back if your parents, parents, parents they, they love you and they, they want to be with you too. And your brothers and sisters, even though they don't want to admit it, they also want to be with you. You have friends, friends that want to be with you, but you, you know, know what? People will let you down. down. And, and sometimes, even if your parents will, will because, because we're not perfect as parents, we, we, we let each other down. down. And, and David, David, in our, our song for today, he expressed frustration, frustration and sorrow because, because somebody that he thought was a friend let him down. down. People, People let, let us down. down. But, but God, God never lets us down. down. We, we can trust that He is with us, and He will never leave us and never forsake us. us. But, but people, people do that. People, people abandon. You know, you know, there's a rule. Uh, if, if you, you ever become, become, become a ship captain, captain there's, there's a very important rule of being a ship captain. captain. So you've you got to consider, consider this if that's, that's the way you want to go. And if the captain goes down with the ship, right? When the ship, right? Rex. The, the captain, captain is the last one, one who has to leave to make sure everybody else is safe. Well, well about, about 10, 10 years ago, uh, there, there was a, a ship, and it was uh, and it came too close. close. The captain thought it would be so cool to kind of go, go close, close to the land, land so people could see it could show off, off right? He got, he got too, too close, close to the land, and he hit a reef, and he got a huge hole in this giant, giant ship with over a thousand people in it. And, and the, the ship started, started sinking quickly, quickly right? And, and guess, guess what the captain did? did? He got, got on a boat and started hightailing it out of there while people, while people were, were still on the boat. And somebody in Coast Guard said, you better get, get back, back on that boat. boat. You're, You're the captain. You, you can't abandon your, your ship. ship. And, and he did. And he actually got in a lot of trouble. He actually had to go to prison because he made foolish choices. That's, That's what, what people, people do when, when life, life gets hard. hard sometimes, sometimes people will hurt us and, and not always be there, there for us. But the good, good news is we have God who is, who is with, with us and who will never leave us, us and will never, never forsake, forsake us. Nothing can, can separate us. us. If we, we are his through Christ, Christ Jesus will never leave us or abandon us. us. God, God is with us. us. And, and that's one important part of the incarnation. He came, he came to be with, with us. The, the second, second, anybody remember what the second word is of why it is important that Jesus came to be with us? The first one is he is with us. The second one, he is like us. So he is with us. He is also like us. Now, when God created Adam and Eve, he said um, that they were created in his own what? Image. That's right. We are created in God's image. We don't really know fully what, what that means. There's, there's ways that we are like God, but then there are ways, ways that we are very different from God. God. We are different, but we are also um, like, like Him in some ways, and it's, it's hard, hard to know, especially in the Old Testament, Testament what that means, but what we know is 
in the, in the New, New Testament, Testament that, that God became like us. us. So, so he created us in his image, image but, but then when things, things got to be messy, messy and the, the ship started, started sinking and this world became hard, God, God took on our image. image. He became like us in the flesh. flesh. Now, now the question is, and this is confusing, and many people have debated, debated this for, for 2,000 years, what exactly does that mean? mean? What does it mean for God to become like us in the flesh? What does it mean? And there were several people who made some really interesting attempts at trying to explain it and ended up kind of getting it wrong. One group of people, they're called the Docetists. And then, and then what they, they believed believe was that Jesus was just like a man like you and me. me. Hey, hey, ladies back, back here, Ace, Heidi, I need, I need you guys, guys to sit down, down. Okay. Pay, pay attention. attention. The, uh, the, the doctor said, said, hey, you know, you know what, Jesus was just, just a man like, like you and me. me. He was just, just a man, just, just a, a boy, born to a mom and dad. But, but then, then the Spirit of God called Christ came and settled onto uh, Jesus is the man, and the two became mingled together. Jesus is the man, and Christ is the spirit, and those two became intertwined together, right? So that was their idea. Another group said, no, 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 the, the brain, brain and the, the, the spirit, in other, other words, the heart and the spirit, and then the brain and whatever, whatever makes you think at that, that time, time how they understood it, was of God. God. So, so spirit, God, God flesh, man, man those, those things, things became intertwined together. together. So, so no, those, those are two theories. Later in life, as they, they studied God's, God's word, to begin to read God's, God's word, and to study it. The, the church, church came up with a different, different understanding, and that, that was what we believe today, today in our church, and that's that, that God, God, Jesus, it is fully man and fully God, God. fully man and fully God. God. Now, now let me ask you this question. question. This, this is what you have to put on your, your theological, theological Bible hat. Ready? Ready? How, how is, how is Jesus, Jesus like us? us? What are some ways that you, you know, know from, from scripture, scripture that Jesus is like us. How, How is that? that? Yeah, yeah. Saul. He, he suffered, suffered yeah. yeah. And do, do people, people suffer? Yeah, we do. Feel it. He what? He, what? he, he made it into his own image, image so we're like Jesus, and we're like God, God like, in, in that, that way. way. Yeah. Okay. What, what other, other ways do we, that Jesus is, is like us? Saul? Saul? <laughs> what? what? He, he had flesh, yeah. That's right. Any other, other ways? Do you, do you think, think, maybe, do you think, think Jesus was, was ever hungry? hungry? Yeah, yeah I mean, he was. Remember, Remember he went to the wilderness uh, to, 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 to fast, and, and he was, was hungry. hungry. That's, That's why they tempted him with bread. bread. He, he was hungry. He experienced hungry. He had a stomach, stomach, and that stomach, stomach could get, get empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he needed, needed the same, same resources that the human tool. He needed food, right? What else did he need? Water. Water. Was, was Jesus, Jesus ever thirsty? thirsty? Absolutely. Absolutely. He was thirsty. thirsty. Yeah. yeah, you got something? You going to say that? Why are you going to say something? Say thing. Okay. okay. Um, let me ask you this. this. Uh, did, did Jesus feel sad? sad? Did, did Jesus cry? cry? Were there the real tears? tears? When, when did, did Jesus cry? cry? Yeah. yeah. When, when, when Lazarus died, 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 Lazarus was his friend. And he felt sadness. He felt sorrow. He weeped real tears. When else did Jesus cry? Remember, Remember in the, the Garden of Gethsemane, when, when Jesus, Jesus was crying, he was crying out to God, God and he, he, felt, felt, he felt sorrow. It even says, says Jesus said, said to his disciples, I am very sorrowful even unto death. death. He, he felt, felt great sorrow because, because he knew what, he, what was, was about, about to happen. And, and he felt so very, very, very sad even unto death. death. Um, so, so he was, he was, he was sorrowful. sorrowful. Um, he, he sweat, sweat just, just like, like you and I do when, when we play, play soccer, soccer right? or, or play or run or do anything. He, he, he sweat, sweat he cried, he was thirsty. thirsty. Um, and he was born. born. He came, came out of his mom's tummy. He was, he was born. born. He, he lived, lived like, like us in this world. world. He walked on, on real, real dirt, dirt and in real grass. grass. He, he ate, he drank, he hung out with friends. 
He lied, he cried, and he died. And it, and it wasn't what some, some people at one point thought, well, the, the man, man died, died. The, the physical died, but, but not really, really truly, truly, fully, 100% died. No, Jesus fully died. died. He died, he died like we died. died. His, his, he, he felt, felt pain. pain. Did, Did Jesus bleed? You guys, you guys think Jesus bled? Yeah, he did. And, and some, some people, people said, you know what? Jesus could have been fully God because God, God can't, can't feel pain. pain. And, and God, God can't bleed. bleed. And, and God, God can't uh, uh, feel the, the sorrow of the, the world. I think because he's God. God. So, so Jesus, Jesus can't, can't be fully God. God. He's part God. God. But, but what we know is that Jesus was, was fully God, God, and Jesus became fully man, man and it experienced the same things, things that you guys experienced. He was, was dead in the tomb. And, and when, when they, they covered, covered his body in cloth, cloth later, later on, that cloth had his, his blood on it. But, but the, the other thing, thing we, know we know about Jesus, Jesus the, way the way that he's like us, us is that Jesus rose from the dead. Now, when Jesus rose from the dead, do you think he rose as a spirit or as a physical human body? What do you think? Yeah. Physical human body. That's right. He rose in the flesh. Jesus was born in the flesh like us. He lived in the flesh like us. And he rose from the dead physically like us. Now, that, that hasn't happened, happened yet. That, that day is coming. One, one day, we, we were going to die, die in the flesh, just like Jesus did. But, but also, like Jesus, we will, will rise from the dead in the flesh. flesh. And, and that's, that's what Jesus accomplished for us. And that's, and that's why, why, that's why, Jesus came, God came into this world, world. Jesus came, came into the world in the flesh, flesh to, be to be like us, us so that he could die like us. So that he can rise from the dead like us, like we will too. That's what Jesus has done. He has become like us. When Mary and Magdalene went to go look at the body, or look at the tomb of the body, she didn't see the body. She was looking for a body. She didn't see the body. She saw a body later. It was the body of Jesus. One day we're going to die. Like, like Jesus, Jesus. But, but we're going to come, come back to life, life like, like Jesus did. did. Now, now we, we live in a world where we, we can't, can't trust everybody. everybody. Remember, Remember I already said that sometimes people, people even, even the people who love us most, are going to let us down, down but, but God, God never will. will. Well, also, we live in a world where, where we, we can be easily tricked, tricked right? And or we can be, we can be told something. And then, and then we realize, realize later, oh, oh man, you know, that, that wasn't exactly, exactly what I expected. expected. Um, and so, so you, you feel, feel like sometimes as you get older, it's hard to trust. It's hard, it's hard to trust, trust what people say. say. Um, and sometimes, sometimes they do it on purpose, sometimes they do it on accident. For example, when I was your age, um, a lot of Christmases, not every Christmas, but certain Christmases, we would travel a long way to see our grandparents. And they lived in Florida. We lived in North Carolina. And we would all come into this old station, station wagon, wagon and uh, uh, travel down to Quincy, Florida, and, and it, it was about a 10-hour drive, so for us, us that was, at that, that time, time, it felt like, you know, you know it felt like, like years. years. It was, it was a long, long time. time. And we, we didn't, didn't have phones, phones and the internet, internet and we could watch, watch movies, movies. we just had to sit there and play, play with my mom and have a couple of pages and and stuff like that. And we would get really bored and really hungry. And my, and my dad, dad was kind of dad who was like, we got to get there as fast as we can. We're going to stop, stop very many times. times. And, and so, so you better go to the bathroom before we leave because we're, we're driving, driving as far as we can. can. And we'd, we'd go, 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 and we'd be, be so, so hungry. So hungry. <laughs> and then we'd be like, can we stop and leave for something? We're going to get a little further. We're going to get a little further. And we'd do that over and over. And then finally, at one point, we were so hungry. We'd like, yeah, we've got to stop. And we'd stop. And he'd be like, oh, we'll stop at the next. Uh, next, next time we see signs, signs for a restaurant, restaurant at, a, uh, uh, at a stop, we'll stop, stop and eat. We're like, yes, we kept watching and watching and watching. And then finally, kind of over the hill, we started to see these signs. We got closer. 
the signs, the signs got, got bigger, bigger kind of over this hill. Like, there's, 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 there's a lot of red shells. We got really excited. There was, there was one, one with McDonald's. We were excited about that. So my dad was like, all right, we'll pull off. Pull off, turn down, have to turn down another road. And guess what was there? A sign company. And it was just a bunch of signs. But they were making it, and they, 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 they fooled everybody. everybody. I think it was just a marketing ploy. And they, they just had signs way in the air of restaurants. And I was so frustrated, and I felt fooled, I felt tricked, that this, tricked, that this sign was saying one thing, one thing but, but what was really there was not what I needed, not what we needed. Well, well here's, here's the good news. news. God, God said, I will be with you. you. I will not abandon you. you. I will take, take care of you. And he gave, gave us what we really needed. He said, said I will send the Savior. I will send the Savior, and he will save you from your, your sins. sins. And he, he didn't trick us. us. He wasn't, wasn't fooling us. us. He wasn't, he wasn't misleading, misleading us. He really did come. come. And, and he, he really, really did send the Savior. And as a matter of fact, fact, and this, this is kind of a surprise, because, because the, 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 the expectation was that God was going to send the Savior, but, but not many people knew that it was going to be God himself. So the, so the gift that he gave us was even better than what we expected. expected. He didn't, didn't fool us. He gave, he gave us something better. He came down and gave, and gave us what we needed. needed. He gave, gave us a king, which, which is God, God in the flesh. flesh. Jesus, Jesus in the flesh matters. Jesus, Jesus entering into the world as a baby, it matters, matters. It's significant it's because it tells us that God, God wants to be with, with us. us. He loves us. He sings over us. He, he, he shouts, shouts loudly over us. us. But, it's but it's also God because he came, he came to be like us in the, in the flesh. flesh. He, he felt, felt things. He saw, he saw things. He felt, he felt sorrow. He died. And he, and he rose, rose again. again. That's, That's why Christmas time. Celebrating Christ. Jesus, God, God in the flesh, is so valuable, is so, so important. He died for us, for us in order that we could be with him forever. Let me pray, pray for us. God, God we thank, thank you so much that, that you loved, loved us enough, enough to be with, with us. us and to, and to be, be like, like us. Lord, Lord, I pray that we would trust, trust that all the days of our lives. I pray, I pray for our children, Lord, as they grow and they um, have, have many, many more Christmases in front of them. them. I, pray I pray that they, they would uh, see you as the most valuable gift, the, the most valuable, valuable gift, gift you have given, given to humanity is your, your presence with, with us in the flesh. flesh. And we, we give you thanks for that now. We thank you that you have saved us from our sins in order that one day we can be with you in the flesh and we will see you face to face. Jesus, thank, thank you for being our good and faithful king. In your dear name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, you guys, may, uh, you can go back, back and you need to take a chair with you. That's fine. I'm going to invite everybody to stand up. We're going to take communion.